look, if you had one shot, or one opportunity, to seize everything you ever wanted, in one moment, would you capture it? Messed up. But anyway, I'm glad to be up here in front of y'all today. You know, I know that, uh, you know, things have uh, been kind of crazy with the economy, you know. we, we uh, The gas prices is just insane, but they went down, so we're happy. They, they, they're below $2, so it's like we're ready to have some type of party or something. They was up about $5 a gallon, and we was like, shit. You see motherfuckers riding motor scooters going down the road. They was like, in 30 degree weather. They was just freezing their ass off. They didn't give a fuck. It was five dollars a gallon. Shit, I would ride a motor scooter too. Fuck it. It's like, uh, I see people still in the winter time. It's still two dollars a gallon. It's like I'm not sure if you don't have a license because you got caught drinking and driving, or if you just can't afford the gas. Because I know that those motor scooters, they get like 120 miles per gallon, so I mean, shit, I, you can ride one of them from here to California for like $5.95. I mean, shit, if I get the fuck out of Indiana for five minutes, I'll pull my pants up so I can sit, sit down in this chair right here, because ain't nobody going to use this chair. Ain't nobody used it all night long. Fuck it, I might as well use it, because I'm tired. I'm tired of staying Y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna lie if I just sit up here and look at y'all. <laughs> Fuck I mean, uh, we got some fucked up shit going on. People on Wall Street driving, you know, private jets and all that kind of crazy shit. <laughs> We're loaning them money because hell, they ain't even got enough. You know, they, they're broke and ain't got no money and you see them getting off the Lear jets and shit. I mean, it's like... Damn, man, fuck you. We got people riding mopeds and shit. I heard they, I heard they opened up a job. Just, just, it was like three jobs at a company here in Indianapolis. There was like 2,000 some people showed up for the motherfucker. I was like, damn, are you kidding me? 2,000 some people showed up for a damn job. I was like, fuck. I told my son, he works at Lowe's part time. He goes, I you pee, why? I said, son, you better do whatever the fuck they tell you to do. If they tell you your ass to scrub a fucking toilet, scrub that motherfucking toilet like you ain't never scrubbed it before. Because I'm serious. I mean, that ain't no joke, man. If you got a job these days, do it the best that you can fucking do the job. Because if you don't, they'll just tell you goodbye. Because there's 2,000 people waiting for that motherfucker. I guarantee you, they ain't no problem. See ya. See ya. I thought, let me go through these applications. I'll probably find somebody that likes me. You know, fuck. But seriously, you know, I've been through a lot of careers, a lot of bullshit jobs, and, and, and a lot of fucked up things. And I always found out that no matter what application you fill out, they always got that other category. I don't know if you ever seen it before, but no matter what job you got, they'll have that other penciled in. And what that other means is they can tell you whatever the fuck they want to fucking tell you to do, and you gotta go do it. If you don't go do it, your ass is fired. Period. <laughs> and like I said, there are 2,000 other people that are coming. I really didn't expect an encore, so y'all gonna have to excuse me, because I, I, I really don't know what the fuck to say. <laughs> these lights are hot as a motherfucker. I could throw some serious dope under these motherfuckers right here. Fuck. I could throw some crime. Shit. Uh, fuck, I'm gonna be tan. Shit, I'll be looking like half of you motherfuckers out here crying up and shit. Line. I ain't wearing all black because I don't like it. I, I love black. <laughs> Shit, that's, that's the best way to be. Fuck, I wish I was black. The black's in right now. Ain't, ain't nothing ever been in more than black right now. Shit, I'm a motherfucking minority. Fuck. <laughs> Damn. But seriously, you know, I'm proud. I'm proud of America. Finally, you know, we, we finally got somebody to compete with Greg Goldman. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, I ain't lying to you. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it, but I mean, at least they could have hired, the, hired a real black president. I love it that we got a black president, but damn, they need 
talk so white. Yeah. I mean, damn. I'm not sure. I mean, he's whiter than I am. I ain't never seen anybody just quite so white, but he's so sophisticated. The guy talks so elegantly. And I mean, you almost won't believe him when he says that shit's over in Iraq and shit. I almost, for a minute, I was like, damn. So and, and one big problem I got is that the man's been in office for a month or two, and, and, and everybody expects for all the problems to be solved right now. Like they're going to be solved tomorrow. You wake up tomorrow morning, and shit's just going to be solved. <laughs> it's going to be done. We, we, we go to work tomorrow, and it'd be like, damn, there's 16 jobs open. You got any friends? I mean, seriously, this shit ain't going to happen overnight. I don't care if we hire a fucking Mexican president. It's depressing. I mean, it really is anymore. But it, 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 the hardest motherfucking job out there is being a comedian right now. How are you gonna make fucking people laugh with depressed all the time? Shit, I'm depressed right now. Just listen to myself. I just listened for the last ten minutes. I just depressed the fuck out of myself. I swear to God, that's why y'all ain't laughing. I'm depressed as a motherfucker. I'm getting ready to go home and take a Prozac. But, I mean, it, it, it's, it's no joke. I mean, this shit, no wonder all the psychiatrists, they probably rich as fuck. They're everybody depressed. Fuck. All you see on TV is commercials about, we, we can fix depression, we can, we can make you feel better, and you'll feel like fishing again and doing your all your different things that you do. But you, you know, and then at the very end, you've got to deal with your nosebleeds and your sinus infections and your throat fucking conditions and your liver bleeding and could possibly cause fucking death. You know, I mean, that's, they throw that in there last. You know, they want to make sure that's the last fucking thing you hear. Could possibly cause fucking death, and no, no big deal. Just so it caught. I guess that would definitely take care of your depression. And I'll tell you, one of the worst things in the world is right after you get done taking a shit and you think you're finished. You're not finished. Yeah, as soon as you get done wiping your ass, you gotta wipe your ass again because you fucking shit again. I hate that. That's one of the things that drive me fucking crazy. I, I feel like I'm totally done. I'm ready to get off the fucking toilet and flush it. And I'll be damned if there isn't a fucking another turd that pops the fuck up. What the fuck is that? Where does it come from? It wasn't there a minute ago. But that motherfucker's there. So, I mean, then you got wipe all over again. And it, it's really never good enough. I mean, as soon as you start sweating, I mean, that shit's still back there. That's why all the French people use those damn water things to clean that shit out. I know personally, I take some toilet paper and wet it down and wipe that shit out of my ass. Because I, I can't stand it. But that's just me. You know, I, I'm like that. Listen, I'm done with my cigarette. I certainly didn't expect to come back up here. And uh, my DJ back here, he's ready to hit it one more time. Hit it one more time for me. Hit, hit, hit me one more time. Just, just the same thing you got, bro. Just lay it on. Lay it on. All right. Here we go. Here we go. One, two. This is the Congo. I, I didn't expect this shit right here. This is like the. This is what the Mexicans was listening to when they were doing my rub. I ain't shit, man. But they was like, dude, gone. Gone. That shit was gone in like five minutes, man. It was, it was gone in a heartbeat. That's working. That's working. That's working. Listen, man, I think y'all, like I said, I did expect to be up here a second time, man. Hey, you guys have a good evening. Like I said, keep it real. Y'all hear